Well, this is a little bit of a different video today. Uh, today I just want to show you a little bit of the construction I'm doing on the wall of my studio. You know, an artist has to have a warm place to do their paintings. I mean, the, the acrylic paint, we want to keep that from freezing. And in Wisconsin, things get mighty cold in the winter. So if I'm not careful, I'm going to have a whole bunch of bricks on my hand. And I'm talking about the containers of acrylic paint that would freeze. So I've been working on this wall here. Uh, this is an uninsulated wall. There's a garage on the other side. And so I'm losing a lot of heat through this wall. And my heater, I had a propane heater here. It actually broke down last heating season. So that'll have to get reinstalled. But in preparation for that, I figured let's put some insulation on this wall. Now I could have done a fill on the inside of the wall and you know sprayed insulation in there but there's a little too much moisture on the floor on the other side of that garage so I didn't want to have moisture building up inside the wall and causing mold and things like that so I decided to instead put some uh, polyiso um, foam board insulation on and I have boy over three inches three and three quarter inches um, so that's like R21 right here that's quite a bit of insulation and then I put up some drywall and just use furring strips to attach it to the original studs so it's all secure. Uh, on this side here I've got the chimney this is what I'm working on so this was you know an original chimney here with concrete and you know masonry inside and I've been gluing and attaching um, foam board insulation and then some uh, two by twos and one by twos just to fur it out enough that I can add some uh, fiberglass insulation inside and then that'll be a nice barrier from the heat because I'll have the heater right here um, and that fiberglass should keep any of the heat from getting to the polyiso insulation and causing melting or anything like that. And it'll also provide some insulation uh, from that chimney because the chimney conducts quite a bit of heat um, through and outside the building and vice versa cold coming in so we want to keep that from from happening um, so this is just some of the stuff I'm working on when I'm not painting just trying to slowly get this building fixed up enough that I can really paint here and be comfortable and not have an arm and a leg <laughs> charged to me every winter because of you know the heating costs um, so that's what I'm working on right now and I'm just attaching actually this last piece here uh, this one by two, setting it up just so that we have uh, this width here the same as the other. Then I can put some insulation inside and then drywall on top, plus a little piece of metal as a shield against the heat from the heater. So, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just kind of showing you part of the process here. And we're going to take a couple of uh, two inch screws and just uh, screw these in. And uh, that should finish us off. Just want to make sure I've got this. Yeah, that's good. All right, and then we just get a screw toward the bottom. Oops. And that should do the trick getting this nice and solid here. We'll put it right up there. Don't want it too close to the bottom. Countersink it a little bit. Good. Well, I suppose we could maybe use one more in the middle. Just to make sure it's solid. there. There we are. That's good. So I had these in two separate pieces. I just uh, wanted to use the fragments I had left. Well, that, that finishes that. So now I have a nice flat piece where I can attach my uh, drywall to. I'll just have to trim this a little bit. Make sure it matches the the ceiling which is actually a little bit <laughs> crooked uh, must have leaned in over time but um, 
and I'll have insulation under there and that'll be good to go. So I just want to show you a little bit of the process here of renovating the studio. I've been doing a lot of things. I mean, insulating the attic, that was, there, there was next to no insulation there. So last year I put in like up to R50, 18 inches of fiberglass insulation, something like that. Um, put in this sub wall here, you can see on the other side, we have this doorway. This wasn't here uh, when, I, when I moved in, when we bought this property three years ago. So this wall was an addition just to kind of cut down on the heated space and make things a little bit uh, more affordable and more manageable. Well, I just want to share this process with you. I know it's a little bit of a different video today, um, but I hope uh, you know <laughs> you got something out of it. Uh, have fun with your own studio space. Customize your studio space wherever you do your art. Make it your own. You might be renting um, inside a house, like I used to rent, uh, boy, for 16 years, and I had a little 9 by 12 room. <clears throat> excuse me, in the upstairs of our house. Couldn't do a whole lot with it, but I just over time said, you know what, I'm going to put screws in the wall and put up shelving and just patch it up before I leave, you know, so, or just have my security deposit lessened. You just get to a point where you say, I have to customize a space, I have to make it my own, I have to make it functional. And so I would encourage you to do that with your own space, make it your own, do what you have to do. In this case here, this just had to get insulated. And I've just been doing a little bit here, a little bit there over the last few years. And uh, I'm a much better painter than I am a handyman, but I'm learning over time. <laughs> and uh, it's kind of fun to do some of these things. And maybe eventually I'll get to a point where I can hire somebody to, to, to do the rest. But anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. God bless. Uh, leave me a like and a subscribe here. If you enjoy this channel check out more of my content I've got videos covering all kinds of topics on acrylic portrait painting so check it out I don't do these kind of videos very often but thanks for dropping by and I look forward to seeing you around all right God bless we'll talk to you soon